So at Coleman and Company, we use the uh, Rapid Labels X1 uh, digital inkjet printer in order to do our own in-house labeling. We used to do these Avery labels for our genuine DTG inks, but it really just did not uh, express the quality of the product inside. So when we realized we had access to the X1, we immediately switched over to doing these custom full color labels. So that's what I'll do now. We use variable data. We print these out on a weekly basis according to exactly how many we need. And we use pre-cut media. So we don't have to use the, uh, the cutter laminator. We just simply use the X1 and the media that we, uh, that we order off the shelf. So I'm just going to uh, print out a couple of the labels. This is our genuine DTG magenta one liter. As you can see, I'm using a PDF file that's been set up for me. All I have to do is, after the printer settings are all set, is I hit print. And before I print them out, one thing I want you to notice is we have a batch number here to indicate the date of the inks. It's not quite an expiration date, but it does give us some quality assurance um, expectations. And I hit the number of copies here, and I'm going to hit two for a test. That's what I usually do. And print. And it's just going to come out over here. OK, so there's my test print of two labels and as you can see they're just they're just spectacular color and they are made to fit and then wrap around the bottles so die cut pre-cut labels so now what I'll do is I'll do the full run I'm just gonna do 50 or 60 the cost of the labels is so low that to do an extra 10 or 15 or even 50 really is not significant so I'm just going to do 50. So basically all it's doing is it's printing out that 50 or 60 labels. I tape it up to the uh, core here and it's just rewinding. And in this way, we could print 10 or 1,000. You can see how fast it prints. It's great for our in-house labeling. And that's it.